Hi, and welcome to the Computer Chronicles. I'm Stuart Chaffe. Unless you've been asleep somewhere for the last few months, you no doubt know that Windows 95 is upon us. Several million people have already bought the Win95 upgrade, but most computer users are still thinking about it. Should you buy it? Is it worth the 89 bucks? And how will your PC life be better if you have Windows 95? These are the questions we'll try to answer for you today. First of all, let's take a look at some of the features of Windows 95, and for that we brought in an expert, Joe Fabris of Microsoft. Welcome, Joe. Hi, Stuart. All right, here's Win95, and obviously, first of all, it looks different. I don't see my usual program manager in mm -hmm. my little windows. Tell me what's going on here. Well, we combine the program manager and the file manager into a single uniform desktop, and that's what we see here, where I've got a, an icon representing my computer and all its peripherals, uh, network connection, and other folders and icons that I can add uh, as I customize it. All right, so the big thing is bottom left, the Start button, which is kind of intuitive. I want to start doing something, so I click on Start, and show me how I launch a program in Win95. Sure. If you click on the Start button, you'll find there is an icon called the Programs over here. And this is where everything that you had in your old program manager has gone to when you start Windows for the first time under Windows 95. All right, and that first window that opens up, I can <coughs> customize that, too, and determine what will show up when I click Start, right? Exactly. Everything above the program is a customization that I've done prior to coming in today. All right, so I want to run a program, so I, I, I drill down there in, in the menus. And I'll go over to Microsoft Office. Okay. This is Office for Windows 95. And I'll launch Excel simply by clicking on it one time. All right, so Excel is up and running now. And what happens if I want to run a second program? I want to do something else while Excel is running. That's one thing that Windows has always been good at, and now it's gotten better. In fact, this time what I'd like to do is instead of trying to go find an application and run a document, I like to find a document and run an application. So I'll go over here to the Documents uh, menu on the Start button, which keeps track of the last 15 or so um, applications that you ran. And so I'll it keeps go here. track of the last 15 things I did regardless of what application it was, not just in Excel or not just in Word. Right, and it doesn't matter whether it was on your machine or on a okay. network drive, it'll go and find it. So, I'll so click you want to open one. that memo. Right. So now that's going to go find Word, launch Word, and then get the document and open it together. All right, now I've got both things running. If I want to go back to Excel and <laughs> click on Excel, Word disappears. Now that's a problem you fixed basically from the old Windows, right? right? Our usability lab showed that when people would go click on something like Excel here, Word would vanish from the screen and they had no right. idea where it, it went. Is it up and running and should I open it again? Exactly. Yeah. That's why we've added at the bottom of the screen something called the taskbar, which keeps track of all the applications you have running. So if I can go back to Word now by clicking on it on the taskbar. Okay, let's talk about file management now and how I do things like copy files and move files in Win95. Okay, I'll go back to the Start button and I'll click on my computer. And now we'll get that view I said of all my peripherals. And here mm -hmm. we see I have a floppy drive and my hard drive. And let's move some files from the floppy drive. So I'll double click here and I'll just choose all of these items. And now I'm going to drag them over to my hard disk. So you can just drag and drop and do it that right. way. And I use the second mouse button on Windows. And here I have some options. I can move them, I can copy them, or I can create a shortcut. And a shortcut would leave the original files where they were, but just put an icon there so I could go to a place where I often go for a shortcut launch the uh, application and it could be on a network drive somewhere else or it could mm -hmm. be on a floppy drive but that's what a shortcut does I'll just do a quick copy over there okay now there's another thing when I go in the store looking for Windows 95 called Microsoft Plus uh, what does plus add to Win 95 okay well you saw when we started how I had that nice Windows background mm -hmm. with my icons looking a certain way the plus has a lot of things and I'm gonna focus on the fun things And if I go to the control panel we have a new icon added here when the plus gets installed called desktop themes. Mm -hmm. And if I launch this, we'll see that I can now change the way my screen and my computer looks and I can have it fit sort of my mood and have some pre-built themes uh, that Microsoft's uh, put together here with some graphic artists like Dangerous Creatures or Leonardo da Vinci. Mm -hmm. I was down at the Hate District last night visiting my sister and this one called the 60s reminds me of that so if I'm in that mood today I can click on that and have it on the screen. So you can sort of customize your desktop day by day depending on uh, what you feel like. Sort of exactly. Design your desktop. Here, yep. huh? And it, what it'll do is it'll change the background to something that looks like the 60s. And then we'll see new icons. I have a peace sign for my computer and beads for the network neighborhood. And all my sounds now have uh -huh. changed as well. All right. Now, plus, a lot of people are getting plus because it comes with a pretty cool 3D pinball game, right? Can we see what that looks like? Exactly. I'll launch the pinball game right now, and you'll see a nice pinball table. And we'll start a game up. We'll have all the pinball sounds that we expect. And you see some pretty good graphic animation that's been an improvement in Windows 95 as well. Yeah. Okay, let's get out of this and let me ask you about autoplay. Now, another feature in here is if you've got a CD-ROM drive, uh, what, it automatically launches whatever uh, CD you stick in? Exactly. In fact, I've got one right here that I picked up the other day. And this is a music CD that I bought at Tower Records. 
And when I put it in, the machine automatically detects it. I put a CD in, mm -hmm. and now it'll launch the application that plays music, and it'll start the songs that are on this disc. So it not only detects you put a CD in, but it knows it's a music CD, and so it's going to launch the audio player program, whatever that is, not the CD on. Exactly. And this is a new piece of Microsoft <laughs> music you guys own now, I guess. Well, we're having some fun with it. Yes, we are.